Oh, hey everybody! I think we're live now. Well, tonight I'm going to look at the Instant Maze Generator. It's like so cool. They're having lots of fun with it. It's like really fun software. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. We're going to look at it. So here's the Instant Maze Generator. Let's look look at the to make sure my sound's working. Let's see if there's any comments. Since I'm using my new microphone, I got this Blue Yeti microphone, and it's pretty cool. So I thought I would use that. So let's check. Oh, hey everybody! I think we're live now. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, so that's my uh, new microphone, and it's like it's like really cool because I'm gonna like start a podcast. know and, and use this microphone that'd be pretty neat so let's go ahead and look at the maze generator and we have the the maze generator here you go and look there's image image pro image premium and image elite let's see and image elite and we'll look at the image pro, see what that has. And you can create a collection. So we're going to create one called unicorns. And then you go to view. And it will, it will not save your collections, you know, because it, it will, if you leave the, the computer, you know, and sign out, then it, it will delete the collection that you had saved. So you got to make sure if you're working, you got to download it. That's like, that's like a pet peeve of this program. It doesn't save any data. Just letting you be aware of that. So here's the mazes. You can choose a square, a rectangular maze. This where this one here looks like a, a circular maze, and there's like a that one in a circle maze. And then right here is a quick book creator. You can create a, a maze like a simple, medium, or complex. And you see what just how happens. You create the book, and it made made a book of mazes for you automatically. And here's the solutions. So then you can even upload images. And my bonus are these really cute unicorns. And let's uh, upload one of them. And let's go and uh, add a page right here. And we click on the unicorn and insert. Just get rid of that text and we got this unicorn here we click on it and we click this right here convert to maze and it made a maze and then if we don't like how it looks we can go click it and then go maze sizing and then go like make the complexity you know simpler Or you can make it really hard. Let me see, Miss. It looks really hard like that. Make it make it simpler. Like for a child, you know. You just click it and you just keep scrolling until you're happy with it. Okay, and then. You can even keep this image on the same page as that way the child has something to color and also like the, the maze can be done. That looks like simpler. And they can also tell what it is too. And if you don't like the custom entry, you can change it here. You can go start cell and the start cell will be here in the end cell. Like say I wanted the end to be the, this, um, hoof, this hoof down here. So... Now it starts from there to here. I can confirm and then it made the maze for me. And then now here's the, the, the maze right here down below. That's the, um, the solution. So you can make the wall thicker too. 
And then you can make the solution line thicker. See, the solution line is getting thinner and thicker, see? And this is really good to make mazes, you know, for Amazon KDP. Or you can even make printables, too. So let's add another page here. And you can make printables for Etsy. And these are some done-for-you backgrounds. This one is a, a giraffe. And what you could do is you could make a maze. Like this circle one. And you could go help the, um, the mama get to the baby. You can put that between it. Then custom entry, you can put it right up here at the start. And the end can be down below where the baby's at. And then now the mama has to get to the baby or help the uh, mama bring food to the baby. Like that can be um, the title of the maze. And then here's some settings. You can make it 8.5 by 11. Or you could um, you do all kinds of stuff like to change the trim size. You can even make it you know, 6 by 9 if you wanted it to be like a small maze activity book. You can center the page number so the page number will be centered. You could uh, show the margins because you know how Amazon will, will reject you if your margins are outside of um, 8.5 because you can't, if, if you have anything outside of the margins, you'll get rejected. So this also has the margins and then you can, um, then now down here, the solution. So here's the solution to the circle maze. That's like really cool. So let's look at something else it can do. There's like what else? It can also bulk pages. So let's create another one called Unicorn 2. And let's um, just put in a bunch of unicorns, like upload a bunch. That might be good for the mazes. And these unicorns I'm given as, as my bonus. If you buy with my link, you get these unicorns as my bonus and you can make mazes with the unicorns in them and also for the front hour I'm given a, a $40 coupon to PLR Beach as well so you, you're actually I'm actually kind of paying you to get the program because I'm giving you so much you know in, in like bonuses so here we have all these unicorns and then um, you select them all Go insert all. So I insert them on the page. Like each page has a unicorn on it. Okay, remove this one. So each page has a unicorn on it. And we could um, click this. And we convert it to a maze. Now, now you can click this button and it made everybody have a maze. Now we have to keep clicking that button over and over. You just click that one time and each, each one has a maze now. You can size it up. You could even um, do the unicorns like you could have an, an, like a circle maze between the unicorns. You could say like help the unicorn get to its friend. You know, there's all kinds of stuff you could do with this. Here's another one here. So now we got six unicorn mazes with the. Um, there's also a coloring image on there too. So here's the um, the results here, the solutions. Or we can have another one 
put some unicorns on the page. Two of them. And then we could go here and go to mazes. custom entry and exit we can put the start cell here and the end cell down here and we can say help the the unicorn get to it, its friend we can add text here we can put help the unicorn get to her friend You can edit the font here. You can make it um, center it. You can change the font. Like if you want a different font. And there's the text color. And you can also change the size. You no, know, trying to move the font. It's like you not to tell them about, about the moving. The moving the font is kind of hard. And you might might want to think. Think you might need to fix this. Like help to like fix the font because it's not. Looks like you can't really select the font, and move it for some reason. Like I'm having trouble. So that's probably something I'm going to tell them because I'm I'm also a beta tester of this software. So I'll make sure to tell. The Ron John and Bean about the font, how it's not, you're not able to move it, you know. But you can always um, save this for, for PowerPoint, you can add font there. So then you can go to download, download as PowerPoint or download as PDF. Let's see if there's any questions so far about this cool maze. Like someone's trying to come in, let's let them in. Like so much. Okay, smart. Make sure my volume is working. Okay, so there's the. Um, it's like we don't have any questions yet. Let's just keep on playing with this. It's like so much fun to play with this maze. I think there's like so much you could do. Now let's create another one. Call it Unicorns Three. And we can make like a book of mazes, like I showed you that. And then here's all the unicorn images. And let's look at these done for you backgrounds. We got like ones with animals in them. And there's one with holidays. And we got like lifestyle images. Like that's awfully cute. It's like a a farm. There's like a fox down here, and then there's cows. Oh, you can do like help the help the fox um, milk the cows. You can do that. You know, like that might, might be a cool maze idea to make for a child, like a child's activity book. And you can put this one in between. You do custom entry and like you put the start here and then the bottom you put down below and then that way you can say help the help, help the fox milk the cows and you just um and they can just draw the maze to get to the um the solution and the complexity you can make it really simple if it's like a young child you can make it super simple for them to to do
So that way the, the child can get to it, you know, depending on the age group. If it's like a really young kid, they might need something simpler. So there's the maze here, the solution. Now let's look to see what other kind of, um, like I have all of them. I got the image, image pro, image premium, image elite. So let's look at image elite. I think you get more images. Um, Make sure there's page settings and there's more done for you backgrounds. So, so you get like a lot more done for you backgrounds with Image Elite. Like you get birds and transportation and sports. So you get all those too. So let's look at the birds. Look at this one. And it's a frog. You, so you can do like help the frog, you know, get to the birds or something like that. They're just really cool. Like ideas, you can make just a really neat activity book ideas. Here's another page, and we could go here. This is a transportation and help the, the kids get to camp. You can make like a maze, like here in the middle, and you could, you know, say help, help the kids get to the camp. And the start cells up here, and the end cell down here. That way they can get to the camp and you can make it, you know, less complex. Or if you want it to be really hard, you can you can make it bigger, you know, so that's like more, hard, it's like a lot harder. And here's one that's real simple, like a real simple maze for kids. But then you'll need to uh, edit the custom entry point. So up here, then the end cell is down here. So that's like really simple maze for like a, like a preschool child to do. Then it has like the uh, solution on, on the last page. And you can put another one, like a triangle maze. You could go here, in cell, and put that down here, and the start cells at the top. You can say, help the frog, help the frog get to the birds. So you can adjust the, the sizing too. When you adjust the sizing, it lo looks like um, it looks like it messes up a little bit. So then we got like we can also add images. So let's um, add another page. We got the unicorn. So let's insert. We could just put maze. Oh look! It, what it did was every single image that's on the um, the pages it make made it into a maze. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it did. If you first images on the pages and you click this maze button, every single image that's on on here will become a maze. That way you that way it's like a lot faster for you to create mazes. And then let's convert this one. So I think this is a cute little maze. And you can even um, use these backgrounds. Like this is animals. There ones. There's lifestyle. And also, if you um, buy with my, my link, you, you get the Elite, and you get a access to the backgrounds, too. Like, at the upsells, I mean. So we could al also um, add some backgrounds. So I got the colored backgrounds, and then the silver backgrounds, and the bronze. Yeah, the bronze is the first upsell, so the backgrounds. So then you can have the background to move the page on bulk clone. I think if you're in PowerPoint, you'd probably have to mess with the backgrounds. 
you were to make this in PowerPoint, then you could um, have it in the backgrounds. So let's delete this. I'll show you what I mean. So let's delete, um, remove page, and then let's um, remove this page. And let's remove this one, and let's uh, put all the unicorns on the page. So it'll take a bit. So let's delete this page. Now I clicked the maze button and it made everybody into a maze. We can delete the unicorns. Then you'll go to download, download PowerPoint. So let's quickly download it to a PowerPoint. So let's open it up in PowerPoint. Now we got the uh, mazes. So let's go insert pictures from file. And you got the backgrounds. It looks like that's a garden. Then we can insert like a shape. Go to format. Now range center back. Now we got like the maze here. If you had Photoshop, you could actually, you know, color it white inside the maze. You know, fill it up that way. It would, um, it would just have the maze be white against the background. You can like do that. Because you could just go into Photoshop and paint the and the inside of the maze white. Like I'll show you what I mean. But if you don't, you could put like a shape behind the unicorn over the background. So that way they, they could um, do the maze, be like an activity book. And inside is the, the unicorn in the, inside the forest with the maze. Like that might be pretty interesting. Hmm, Photoshop sure is taking a while. Okay, so okay, so I saved the maze to the desktop. You can also save the mazes to uh, images right from the program too. So it saved as a PNG.
And what you need to do is first um, like duplicate this. And, you know, first you need to um, close the lines. So you need to do that, and then you would go here in the magic wand tool and select, go to um, select inverse, make a new layer, and you would um, paint so it's white inside. And delete this one. So now you have a maze that's white. You could save that as a PNG. And you go back into um, PowerPoint, get rid of that, and the shape, insert picture from file. You have the maze, and you could go with like a drop shadow. There's apples, like apples behind it. You could go um, text boxed. That's a start. And end. And end is down here. So you could do that, that'd be cute. And here's the, uh, the solutions down here. So you can download uh, PNG, JPEG. They would download pages, download mazes of JPEG. So let's see what that does. So download the maze pages as JPEGs. And let's see if you get my upsells, you get the colored version. So let's see what that looks like. So image needs picture from file. And let's go to the um, the gold offer. You get colored images. And here's some cute ones. There's like a castle with a rainbow. So you get that one. Now it might also be good for like book covers too. If you want to make a, like a book, like activity book, activity book. And here's another rain, like another image. And you could be really fun to keep playing. And then you go here, you go to the silver. And you could look for like okay, some more cute unicorns to put in the back. So that could maybe be a cover. You could even have this be a cover, you know for your activity book for the colored images you have this you can colorize that blue look like a blue color I look pretty 
like a, a book cover. That way they would know what it is. That's a really cute, just like, like a cover idea. Yes, yeah, so you can like also put it into PowerPoint too and do more things with it, with the mazes. Let's see if we have any questions. Let me look in the group. Okay, Kim wants to know, is there a way to do just the outline of the unicorn to go around the maze? Is there a way to do just the outline to go around the maze? I'm not really sure what you mean. Um, you probably probably mean like like have the maze, like have outlines around it instead of like the boxes. You know how it has like a like a jagged edge. Now with this software, it's going to have a jagged edge around it, so you wouldn't be able to have like a line, like an edge line that would fill it would fill it in. Because I know what you mean, like, in, if you look at books in stores, they have, like, mazes in them. Yeah, books in stores. Well, well, you'll usually have, like, a line around and a maze filled in. Yeah, those are usually custom done by hand. Because this one, um, it's going to have a jagged edge, so you can't really um, have a line. The only way you could do it, like I'll show you a trick in Photoshop how to do it. Like I, I can do it in Photoshop, because all you would do in Photoshop is you would make this like an outline. Like, let me show you. But you would need Photoshop to do it. So let's use the first number one so we know what, what it is. So I'm going to use number one. Then I'm going to go up. I'm going to select this. I'm going to paint over it. Yeah, paint over it. And then let's save it as. Oh, then we're going to um, go layer, style, stroke it's an outside so we got 20 20 line outside so let's go ahead and uh, upload that Yeah, it would, um, you have to go in Photoshop and then actually delete the edges. Like anything outside the line would need to be deleted. And then you would need to go into uh, Photoshop. So let me, I'll show you what I mean like by that. So let's take this and let's download um, his PNGs. Now you could probably do a, do a lot more things with this with if you had Photoshop. Or even there's this one called Photo P. And you could probably do the same thing with Photo P. It's a free program. Now what page was that on?
hit page three. So you go up here. So you would need to um, go here, then anything anything outside the lines would get deleted. Is that way it would be a jagged line? Yeah, see, what I did was I removed the lines outside, so it became like a smooth outline. Yeah, you would need to do that in Photoshop. Like, that's the only way you could do that. But otherwise, you're going to get, like, jagged outlines. So hopefully that answered your question. Like that's the only way you'll be able to do it. But if you had PhotoP, it's um a free program, photop.com. See, it's like a photo piece. So you could do the same thing. Like you could do like different layers and stuff in here. So you could probably do the same thing in PhotoP if you didn't have Photoshop. Oh yeah, I think think hopefully that that's what yeah that's what she meant. Okay, um, so now let's see if we have any more qu your comments here. I can only see like a few for some reason. I can only see like a few here. It's weird. So let's look. Scroll up. Okay, now is there a way to do just the outline? Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I agree, Kelda, how you can change the um, start end and the colors and the thickness. And um, yeah, Kelda says, very cool. There are many one-time offers. So when you get to the point, can you clarify what is what is in either in or missing from each one so I can decide which one I need all the backgrounds you demonstrate in the front offer or the one-time offers? Yeah, I'll get, let me see. I'll go to... Um, like Naranjan provided like a JV document. It has like um, comparison. So here's the comparisons comparison sheet. Let me share my screen here. Okay, so here's the comparison comparison sheet. I can't even say that comparison. Yeah, comparison. I almost want to say comparison for some reason. Got my southern accent. Comparison. Okay, so front offer. You get the the editor trim size selector. You get that with everybody, and you change background color limited. So, what what in the front offer? Your limited choices in the color palette. So. The um, choice of the color palette is limited. But if you have the first offer, the, the one, one time offer one, you get um, full color palette. And you can, the, yeah, same across. And then this one, you get the change the wall color. And you get a limited choice of the color palette. And this one, you get a full color palette and the, and the rest of them. And the, and the front offer you get, you can change solution path. But you're limited the color palette. So you're limited color palettes. But this one you get all colors in the other offers. And then there's um, default entry and exit points. So the the, um, the one time offer, I mean the front offer, it has default entry and exit points. And then the rest of them have, you, you can select the custom. Remember I was able to select the custom entry and exit. Like this, this one the, for front offer you can only have a default. So you won't be able to change it. Then this one is um, change text color, and you could um, with limited color palette. And this one's change text col color with full color palette. And this one has um, single clone option, helps you clone the exact settings of the maze on a new page. So this one has single clone, but the, these other ones have bulk clone, like the other front the other offers. 
there's bulk clone because remember how I was able to you know clone like everybody so I went and insert all and I was able to get everybody onto the page you, you would have to do it one by one if you just had the front offer so then the local downloads you to download individual pages and mazes in the JP ping PDF and PNG and this one let, lets you do SVG 2 in PowerPoint so with the front offer if you just get the front offer, you can't download into PowerPoint. You see, I was able to do PowerPoint, and I was able to do more things, you know, like add text and stuff like that, and add different elements to the page in PowerPoint. Well, you won't be able to do that if you just have the front offer. You can only download in JPEG, PDF, and PNG, but the rest of them you can you can do SVG and PowerPoint. Then this one, this one lets you download complete books in, in JPEG, PDF, and PNG, and this one lets you download complete books with PowerPoint and SVG and this one has you can only do a hundred downloads per month in the front offer and the rest of offers lets you do unlimited downloads and then also in the front offer you can't add your own images to the canvas like the rest of them you can add your own images like you wouldn't be able to add the unicorns to the canvas you know because you want because you can't add your own images with this one you the rest of them you can't and then um you can also change the letter and spacing with drag and drop feature. The rest of them you can change the, the drag and drop. And also I noticed in the other offers too, you get uh, more images. You know, like the, those images you see here. Like you get more done for you backgrounds. Like this is, I'm in the Elite, and it seems you get more done for you backgrounds as well. So let's look at the rest of them. Yeah, so when in this front, this is the front offer one. So you can't, um, looks like you can't. I was able to add my own images though. This is the front offer. So here's the, like that's the, the oh yeah, because I think I do, I wonder if I have them all, I have, I have them all unlocked. So I know you, um, so this one is the Elite. In the Elite, you, you do have more done-for-you backgrounds. Like, if you want more done-for-you backgrounds, I recommend getting the Elite. Because you get all these backgrounds. There's just tons of them. Let me see how many backgrounds you get. I wonder how much you get with the other, other offers. Like, Lifestyle Birds. Now you don't get as many in the pro. It has a quick book creator here and then all the mazes are here. So let's see if there's any more questions. Hopefully that helped. Okay, well, if anyone has any more questions, just let me know. Hope you enjoyed this, this look at the um, Instant Maze Generator. I'm, like, really excited about this program. It's just really awesome. It's just, it's just super awesome. Like, I can um, put the this, these feature comparison comparisons in the chat so you could look yourself. So let me copy the link, and let's put it into the Facebook group. So you could look for yourself. So I put that in the uh, Facebook group. And I'll also put it under the YouTube video in the description as well. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can check it out that way too. So let's see if we have anything else like... Um, Yeah, the thing that that's all the questions I see. But if you have um, any more questions, then please let me know. Oh, someone says I always learn something from your webinars, teaching sessions. Oh, that's great. Yeah, hopefully I, I'm trying to like help you the best I can. You know, I, I, mean, I just love hearing that people are enjoying my uh, my teachings.
Yeah, because that's why I do it. I want to make sure you that you learn all you can so you can be successful in your business. Okay, well, I hope you have a wonderful day and take care of yourself and don't work too hard. You know, just get some relaxing time. Maybe watch some Netflix and just relax the rest of the night. Well, have a great day. Goodbye.